And uh, let me show you the pedal assist levels. So pedal assist one, and it doesn't help you much. I can tell you I went, without pedal assist, I went 12 miles an hour. And now with pedal assist, I'm going 11 or 12 miles an hour. So it just helps you a little bit, but it doesn't really give you much more speed. Pedal assist two, a little bit more, not much, you know? Uh, I'm not really trusting this uh, speedometer on this app right now, but before I can tell you, I got up to about 12 or 13 miles an hour. And then pedal assist three, you definitely have some nice pull, some nice, uh, you know, uh, propelling you forward. Um, it's definitely got some, some nice, um, you know, power. And then pedal assist four is really nice. But let's, let's do this here. All right. Breaking some laws here. Okay. So pedal assist three. It definitely just kind of takes off. It definitely gives you some nice power. I don't know if you're gonna hear it, but it's got some nice, um, some nice pull. And then pedal assist four. Okay, so I think the speedometer finally caught up. Pedal assist three. I'm at 15.4, 15.8, 16. Okay, I got up to 16 in pedal assist four and three. Pedal assist three, 17. Pedal assist three. Okay, 17.2 and pedal assist three. My pedal assist four, problem is, I've already kind of maxed out on my pedaling. I can barely keep up. But if I were to really freaking pedal, okay, now we're at 18. Uh, we're kind of going against the wind, but I can tell you I got up to about 20 uh, on this a little bit ago. Let's see. I'm trying to hit 19. Hit 19. But I'm really, I don't know if you can see my knees, but I'm really pedaling. 19.1. So this is flat. So with pedal assist, you can go about 21, 20, 21. I'm about uh, 210 pounds. And let's see what we can do with this um, throttle only. Just kind of, can we maintain that speed? There was a headwind here, but it's pretty much maintaining like the 19 miles an hour. So not bad. But you could definitely go maybe a mile an hour faster in uh, pedal assist four if you're pedaling really fast. But you don't really want to pedal this thing. If you're just kind of cruising, which is what this bike really is, you don't want to be pedaling much more than like 15 miles an hour because you're like, starts to like the revolutions are really fast and you start to get really worn out so pedal assist four in this is really kind of unnecessary as is pedal assist one i think i think two and three are probably your best bets all right we're testing out the hill climbing capability of the rad runner electric utility bike by rad power bikes and we're in power assist four pedal assist four <laughs> power assist pedal assist four this has no uh, gear changer or derailers. So it only has one gear. So we're doing our best here. Let's see if we can get up this thing. Uh, it's definitely lagging people, but we're doing, it, you know, it's got the 10.5 uh, amp hour battery, really big and heavy. It's got these big 20 by three inch tires. This thing's about 65 pounds. So the fact that it has no gears, just one gear really means it struggles uh but the gear is kind of a low-end gear so i mean we made it people this was probably a 10 or 12 percent grade and i was in pedal assist four and yes i used some uh good old pedal power but uh we made it and i'm not not breathing that hard you know so not bad i think if i were to buy this bike one of the first questions i'd have is you know, can I go up hills? Because I can't downshift. But the flip side is because it has kind of a lower end gear, it doesn't give you a lot of top speed in terms of pedal assist. You kind of max out. Um, you can go like 20 miles an hour in pedal assist four, but you're like, you're pedaling like a freaking uh, gerbil on a, one of those spinning wheels. Like you're really pedaling fast. So, this because it doesn't have the high high end uh, gear. It just has kind of a low to middle end gear. You know what I mean? So anyway, just a little hill climbing for you. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace out.